Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest fudge recipe. Perfect for the holidays, gift giving, and your celebrations. Not only am I going to show you the easiest fudge recipe, but I'm going to show you how to prepare your pan to get that easy fudge out of there and make those perfect little squares that you can give as gifts or just eat for yourself, right? So really quickly, I'm going to bring you down here and show you how I prepared my pan for the fudge. I find that a 9 by 9 baking pan is the perfect size for this recipe. What I'm going to do is take the pan, I'm going to flip it upside down. Now I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper that's going to be bigger than the pan size, about 12 by 16. And you want to crease it along the edges of your pan. So I'm going to crease here and then I'm going to crease on this side. So you should have four creases. What I'm going to do now is remove the pan, take a pair of kitchen shears, and you want to cut on the corners up to the crease lines, and then cut the corners off. We're going to bring our pan back over and we're going to take some cooking spray and spray the bottom and the sides. Now what this will do is hold the parchment paper in our pan when we put our fudge in. So I'm just going to take our parchment. Now you see where the folds are and this should fit right into your pan. Now, the two sides that are kind of hanging off to the side right here, you just want to pull down and then just kind of crease. This is what's going to help us get the fudge out, make it really easy to pull it out. We're going to set this aside. The first ingredient we are going to work with is peanut butter. You're going to need 16 ounces. Now what's great about the peanut butter is you can use the kind that's smooth, like what I'm going to be using, or you can even use peanut butter that has the peanuts in it to make more of a crunchy fudge. So you want one jar, which is 16 ounces. You want to take off any layers of paper that's on here. Okay, now that you've got all of the edging off of the jar of peanut butter, we're going to place it onto just a small plate. I'm going to place this in the microwave for one minute. Okay, it's out of the microwave. This looks runny. We're going to place it into a large bowl. I'm just going to use a spatula to get it out. Mmm, oh my gosh, that smells good. This is a really easy way to get peanut butter out of a jar. All right, need a spoon. That's a snack. <laughs> I have a 16 ounce container of frosting. I am using the vanilla flavor. Can you imagine? all the different flavors that you can use for this. So again, you want to take off the silver lining here. You don't want to leave any on the container, okay? So make sure that it is all off. What we're going to do with the frosting is place this in the microwave for one minute. Oh, it's nice and slurry in there. I don't know if y'all can see that. What we're going to do is pour this into the peanut butter. I'm going to bring it over here. There we go. I'm going to take a whisk and blend this together. We want to make sure that that peanut butter is all incorporated with the frosting. It smells delicious. You can have a lot of fun with this one, you guys. Think, think of all the toppings you can put in here. Mmm. Oh my gosh. 
That tastes like fudge. I swear it does. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to bring our pan that we prepared with the parchment paper back over here. I'm going to just take all the excess off. Not too much, though. You know, snack number two. I know you know where snack number three is coming from. <laughs> Just gonna take a spatula. Let's pour this fudge mixture into our baking dish or pan. Already have a dog in the kitchen. Our dog loves peanut butter. She knows what that jar sounds like. <laughs> it's starting to really set up here. So what we're gonna do, oh, look at that off the side there. Smooth it out all the way to the corners. Make sure it's nice and even. Y'all let me know down below all the different flavors you're looking for in this. I'm gonna get a knife here. Some of that excess off. Was that snack number three? <laughs> there we go. Mm. What does frosting do to peanut butter? Something amazing. Something easy. Something scrumptious. Perfect for the holidays, gift giving options. While your fudge mixture is in the bowl here, there are so many things that you can do to it. You can add peanuts, other types of nuts, marshmallows, chocolate chips, sprinkles. What do you want on your fudge? Y'all let me know down below. We need to let this set up. This is gonna take about four to six hours in the refrigerator. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to pull this out of here, cut these into bite-sized pieces or whatever you like, and try one for you. I'm back with the chilled fudge. Let's pop it out of the pan. I'm just going to take the edges of the parchment paper and give it a jiggle. Now, if you're lucky enough, you might have somebody hanging around that can move your pan out of the way. What I'm going to do is take a long, sharp knife, and I'm just going to start making my squares. You can either serve this on a serving platter or in a nice holiday container like this here. Don't those look good? What's left of them? They don't last long in this house. You know, these hold their shape very well, and they look so creamy and delicious. Let's go in for a bite. Mm. I love the texture. The next go around, I'm putting nuts in for sure. Give it a little crunch. People are not going to believe that you only used two ingredients to make this fudge. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one. Comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification, that way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I will see you on my next episode.